Deep fried batonet potatoes with parsley aioli. We are going to start by taking our batonet potatoes that have been pre-blanched and putting them in warm oil. It is important that the potatoes are blanched before they go into the oil to make sure that the outside is nice and crispy and golden while the inside is soft and cooked. While our potatoes are frying, I'm going to get the aioli ready. In a large mixing bowl, I'm going to add an egg yolk and some vinegar. Now an aioli is an emulsified sauce, which means that it is emulsifying two ingredients that don't generally mix together oil and water, or in this case, vinegar. I'm going to mix the egg yolk and the vinegar until it's nice and smooth. Before I add my Dijon mustard. The Dijon mustard is going to give me a rich and creamy texture, but it also is going to help with the emulsification. To our egg yolk and vinegar we are now going to very slowly start adding our oil. It is important not to add the oil too fast otherwise it will split. One egg yolk can hold up to 250 milliliters of oil. I'm going to hold on to the bowl and very carefully drip the oil in while vigorously whisking. Adding the oil, you will see that the sauce is starting to emulsify and thicken up. Just checking on the potatoes quickly. Almost there. You might think that the more oil you add, the, th the thinner it will become, but because it is an emulsification, it will actually become much thicker. That is why we reserved some lemon juice for later if we need to thin it down. Ioli will also change color, it will go nice and pale. The reason it's going pale is because we are adding air to our mixture as well. It has become nice and thick and lush. I'm going to add the last bit of the oil before we move on. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take the potatoes out before we finish our aioli. Onto some draining paper, I'm going to place my golden brown potatoes and allow it to drain off any excess oil before we are ready to serve. Give your potatoes a nice shake on the parchment paper and then give it a generous sprinkling of salt. We put salt straight onto the warm potato, which will help absorb into the potato, keep it nice and crisp, and also make sure that it's beautifully seasoned. We'll set this aside when we are ready to serve. Into our aioli, we are now going to add the rest of our lemon juice. And the lemon juice is just going to thin it down a little bit and help with the acidity. Aioli is typically a garlic mayonnaise. So we are going to add crushed garlic and then finely chopped parsley. A little bit of salt. Give it a whisk. And there you have it, ready to serve. For service, we are just going to spoon a generous dollop of our aioli into a small bowl. 
right next to that are seasoned fries. And there you have deep fried batonet potatoes with a parsley aioli.